morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. It's been a fair old wait for the loyal army of Top Gun fans, but after almost four decades, Maverick is back. I feel the need. The need for speed. The original was released in 1986 and instantly wowed audiences with its intense action sequences, aerial stunts and memorable dialogue. I am dangerous. At tonight's premiere, starman Tom Cruise was clearly proud of what they'd produced. I just feel very happy actually. You know, here we are, it's what we've all come through, that's 36 years since the original. I'm just excited for people to see it. I can't wait to meet the guy who landed this jet here. And I'm like, where was the approach? You know, I wanna, that was, that's some, that's some flying. Tonight's premiere has been a long time coming. The second installment of Top Gun was due for release almost three years ago, but production issues and then the COVID pandemic meant that fans were forced to wait that little bit longer to see more from Maverick. Jeez. Having any fun yet? But after so many years, will fans get everything they've asked for? It actually feels like a great time for it to be coming out now. Um, I think it's, you know, people are ready to have fun collective experiences and be together again. And I think the movie feels very celebratory. I think it exceeds expectations. It did for me when I saw it. This movie is everything you want it to be. And it's it's a real, What it, the exciting thing is that it's a real welcome back to the cinema. So the actors believe it's been worth the wait, but tonight the film was up for a royal seal of approval as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge arrived for the special screening. You two characters are going to Top Gun. Fans will no doubt fill cinemas to watch Captain Pete Mitchell once again as he flies into the 21st century. Rishi Davda, News at 10.